Hey, 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 Med School Made Easy. Today we're going to go over the uh, very pertinent, uh, important BIRAD system for uh, mammography. This is a scoring system that came out in 1993. The American College of Radiologists, the ACR, came with a scoring system. It's been updated four times, most recently in 2013. This is the standardized breast imaging in terms of mammography, whether it's uh, uh, x-ray or, or MRI um, or any other modality. Um, and so we're going to go over what each of these scores means and what the relative risk of malignancy is and what to do in each of these situations. So first of all, BIRAD stands for the Breast Imaging Reporting and Data System. Um, and, and what this is, it goes from zero to six, um, kind of like our videos for the GCS, uh, will work backwards or work from outwards in because it's easier to memorize that way. So zero is nothing because it's inconclusive. And so what that means is you need to repeat your imaging. Well, your screening mammogram wasn't good enough or the patient's breasts were too dense or something like that or it's incomplete test, the patient couldn't tolerate it, etc. And basically that means we, we don't even need to talk about it, we just need to shoot more images, okay? On the other side of the spectrum, we have number six, which is known cancer. Uh, again, we're gonna start on the outsides and work our way in because this is easy to memorize. So if we, know, if we remember it goes from zero to six, we remember that zero is incom inconclusive and six is known cancer, it's super easy to memorize. You just work your way in from each side. Okay, so number one, is negative, meaning no lesions of any kind. These are the most normal breasts in the world and that has essentially a 0% risk of malignancy. Actually, BIRADS1 uh, imaging is actually pretty um, rare because most times the people that are getting mammograms have something to talk about. And, and so if you remember that one is negative, number two is benign. And this is what you're gonna see a lot of when you're uh, mammography studies because um, Benign studies will have some, some sort of fibroadenoma or, or collection of fat or something like that that makes you think, hey, you know, these are normal breasts, they're totally normal breasts, but they are benign. Also carries about a 0% relative risk of uh, harboring some malignancy in there. Um, three is another uh, point to remember because this is another um, takeoff point, and this is probably benign. And this does carry a little bit of a risk uh, for um, some sort of malignancy, very small, about one to two percent. And what you do with this is this means that you need to have a short follow-up. So we need to repeat our mammogram <coughs> in the next six months and make sure that this BIRADS 3 can either be downgraded to a BIRADS 2 or upgraded to a BIRADS 4. Um, so if you, we were just at probably benign, um, you know, the next, the next thing up would be suspicious. And the thing about, uh, you know, a sus lesion is that you don't know, there's different subcategories here. And so four is the only one that's like this, but it has four A, four B, and four C. Now each one of these carries a different risk of malignancy. Uh, the four A is about 2% to 10% of having a cancer inside of it. Four B is 10 to 50 and the C is 50 to 95. So you can see that a, a BIRADS 4C has a higher chance, obviously, than BIRADS 4A. It doesn't really matter, though. This is more of an academic point to discuss the, the subtleties between these three because all of these tell you, hey, we need to get a biopsy. Now, sometimes that biopsy is an ultrasound-guided core needle biopsy. Sometimes that biopsy is an excisional biopsy or a lumpectomy. Uh, it just depends on what, how big this lesion is, how large or small the patient's breasts are, what they want, etc. Uh, but definitely, if you have a uh, BIRADS 4 lesion, you need to be sending that person um, either to your radiologist who can sample some tissue, or pretty much all these patients go to a uh, surgeon for, to discuss some sort of excision uh, or excisional biopsy. And then uh, 5 is highly sus or highly suspicious, and that's you know 95% cancer risk. It's, this is highly suspicious. It's, it's pretty much cancer until proven otherwise. And then you can see your BIRADS lesion. So if you have a family member that gets a mammogram and they see on the report that they had a BIRADS 2 lesion, you can tell them, hey, it's probably benign. That's what pretty much everybody has. Uh, whereas you can see, obviously, if they have something different, what they need to do differently. So thanks for watching. BIRADS.